Hello, Mayday family. How are you doing today? For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Mayday and I'm a licensed counselor with a YouTube channel. I like this video for the YouTube algorithm as well. So let's go ahead and get started. Don't forget to subscribe, comment below, and hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. I, at first, when I started hearing these rumors about Normani being sabotaged, I thought, oh snap, Cardi B found a way of sabotaging this girl's career because Cardi B was not feeling all the comments from her, um, from her, from this girl's fans and things like that. I was thinking, oh snap, Cardi B has done it. She's found a way. And in my last video, I posted about how Cardi B couldn't just pull out of a contract just like that because she was featured on Normani's new or latest song, Wild Side. And Cardi B had gotten upset. She said she was no longer gonna promote the song. And labels are all about money. If you're not bringing in the money, then you might as well be dead to them, right? So if you haven't watched the video to kind of get filled in on what's been happening with this, I'm gonna leave a link below so you can go back and watch that video and find out really what's been happening with this whole situation. So, I thought, oh man, like maybe I was wrong. Maybe Cardi B did find a way to sabotage this girl's song, her comeback. She's been gone for two years. It's really hard to make a comeback when we've been gone for that long. And, you know, Cardi B found a way to pull out of this, this contract. Well, upon me investigating this a little bit more, I do not think that that's the case. I don't think that's what's happening. I actually think that it's something a lot crazier, right? For starters, Normani has not been promoting this song as much as we would, or as, at least as much as I would expect. I don't see her on any news outlets. I don't see her on any interviews talking about the songs. I just don't see it. And if it's there, if she's done some, it's not very much, it's not very many. And actually, I didn't even know about the song until Cardi B posted about the song. So the only reason I even knew that she had a song come out was through Cardi B. So I honestly, I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. I am not a follower of Normani's up until now. I didn't really even know who she was until Cardi B posted about her song. So therefore, I just feel like she has a pretty, uh, she has a base following from what I've been seeing, but there's not been a much done for her. Her team hasn't been doing much for her as far as promoting her and promoting her content so that she can kind of grow that base. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that recently her latest song, Wild Side, was taking off of Apple Music. So Apple Music completely took off took her song off the platform where a lot of people weren't even able to stream the song for several days at a time. And not only that, y'all, when the song came back on to the Apple platform, it dropped like 70 spots. Like it literally plummeted on the chart. So everyone was wondering and confused about what happened. Like, how did it go? from having like one of the top 20 spots to plummeting all the way down from there. So that was really, really odd as well. And that's one of the main reasons why people are saying that Normani is, is being sabotaged, her comeback is being sabotaged. The song was blocked on TikTok for a really long time as well. TikTok is a huge platform. So as an artist, your song is blocked on all the major platforms. You're kind of toast, you know, like there's just no way that you can get your stuff out there. It could be the best song ever, but if you don't have a way of delivering it to the masses, that's that's a done deal. That's a, that's a done deal. Normani was scheduled to perform at the Jimmy Fallon show. Next thing we know, the Jimmy Fallon show canceled Normani's performance. It's nuts. It's like, what is happening here? So they canceled her performance. She's no longer performing at the Jimmy Fallon show. That's a dud, that's a done deal. And not only that, they got someone to replace her for the performance. And you guys will, will not believe who they got to replace her for the performance. That's right, 
Camila Cabello. So this is when, as I was digging into it, this is when I started to think more, hey, you know what? I don't think Cardi B is behind the sabotage. I think Camila Cabello is behind the sabotage. Because if you guys didn't know, Camila Cabello and Normani have not had the best past. And Camila Cabello is racist. Currently, a year or two years ago, she was dropping in bombs and text messages talking about black people, real ratchet and raggedy like. So they haven't had the best history together. And she, you know, it's just really sad because I liked Camila Cabello until I learned about this. And now I will never stream any of her stuff again. But, but yeah, like, so the Jimmy Fallon show canceled Normani's performance and now has Camila Cabello replacing Normani for the performance. It's nuts. So Normani is on her way to getting fired. That, that's what this makes me think. This makes me think that RCA is trying to get rid of Normani. They're trying to fire her. And this is the same thing that you see in corporate, except for in corporate, it happens more on a microscopic level. It's the exact same thing that you go through in corporate, in a corporate or in any eight to five job, if they're trying to fire you, you start seeing the signs everywhere, right? Your manager starts being difficult. They, the, the manager starts writing you up for, for really dumb stuff things that you were doing before that weren't a problem, now all of a sudden they're a problem. And this is kind of what this reminds me of, is that, dude, are they getting ready to try to fire this lady? And I, I think that that's what they're doing. So they're, they're really sabotaging her career. And it also makes me think that all the numbers and the charts and all that stuff is fake, right? Like, it, like the, the companies, and the labels have full control over what is rated at number one, what's rated at number two, blah, blah, blah. And I think whoever is the highest bidder gets to be at number one, basically. I don't think that those spots are actually earned. I think that it's very political within the music game. And they try to make it seem like, oh my God, look at my song. It's at number one because a lot of people are listening to it. But it's actually the reverse. I think from just based off of how human behavior operates and just human behavior and, and human tendency, I think it's the complete opposite. I think that these labels pick and choose who they want to put in as number one, depending on who has the biggest pockets, who they want to put in at number one for any amount of time. Because usually number one, you can stay number one for a few weeks or a few months and then you're replaced by another song, right? They pick and choose depending on who has the biggest pockets and who they like and blah, blah, blah. And they put that song at number one. And because the song is at number one, now the artists are able to market the fact that these songs or their song is at number one or at number two or whatever the case may be. And the song gets more listens and it gets more attention because of that. I think, I believe that that's the way it actually goes. I don't think it's a matter of so many people are streaming it. Now my song is number one. I don't, I don't think that's the order in which it goes. I think that they decide depending on how big the star is, the, you know, song, the labels, how strong the label is, how much pull they have. Then they put the song at number one for a little while and that gives the, the, the label and the artist a chance to market the song even more and get the song even more exposure than any other song that might be on the list. So in my opinion, just based on human behavior, that makes more sense to me as to that's probably how it actually works. So with them pulling Normani's song from Apple Music and then Normani's song miraculously randomly appears back and it's dropped over 70 points, 70 spots down. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised because it wasn't necessarily a spot that was there just because people were listening to the song. She added Cardi B to the song that adds more ears 
and it, it adds more exposure to the song. But I'm not sure, what I'm not sure about is why they're doing this. What happened behind the scene to where now they're pulling out of the deal that they have with Normani. And guessing, if I had to guess, I would say that a huge reason for them doing this is the money aspect. It probably wasn't getting as much attention and cash flow as they would like to see. And so maybe that's why they are they are now pulling out of the deal. I don't know. Or it might be a race thing. It might just be because, you know, let's be honest, she's black. And now you're replacing her with like, a, you know, someone that's not black. So that's my question is why they're doing this to her. I'm not sure what the deal is. I'm not sure what the reason is. But one thing that I do know is that, yes, I do believe that she's being sabotaged. It's very sad because I don't think that she's going to be able to, to move forward with her career unless something drastically changes, unless she maybe changes her entire team, starts all over, starts getting the publicity that she needs in order to advance. Because there's a lot of amazing artists with a lot of amazing songs out there, but we never hear about that. We, we, we don't know who those people are, and that's because they don't have the exposure and they don't have the pockets and the funds behind them. And it's just human nature. Whatever is in front of us is what we're going to pay attention to. So I think that if I had to choose who's at fault, I would say Camila Cabello is probably behind Normani's, Normani's downfall and her and the downfall of her video. Another thing is I haven't heard Cardi B market the song since she said that she wasn't gonna market it. I haven't heard her market it at all. And I, I don't know why or what's going on, but obviously there's something going on with the song to where she wouldn't market it. But I don't think it's directly linked to Cardi B. I think Camila Cabello has something to do with the sabotage of this girl, especially because all of a sudden, Normani is canceled at, off of the Jimmy Fallon show and replaced with Camila Cabello. Very, very strange, very, very strange. But those are my thoughts. Comment below, let me know what you think. Do you think that it's weird? Do you think that there's more to it or not so much? Do you think Cardi B is behind it or Camila Cabello is behind it? What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? But that's where I stand so right now is there's definitely something shady going on. She's definitely being sabotaged. And it's very sad because it makes me question whether she'll be able to come back from this or not because she already took two years off. You don't just come back after taking two years off. So I just still don't understand the people that say that she should have done the video by herself. She can't really do the video by her. It's very risky. It would be very risky for the label to have her do the video by herself if she's not able to bring in the type of cash flow that these labels look for. So that's why they added Cardi B to the song. Even though the song didn't need Cardi B, the song itself didn't need Cardi B, but they needed a way to get to the masses to make sure that the cash flow that this song is able to receive makes sense for what the label is gonna put into promoting it. And labels are all about money. If you're not bringing in the money, then you might as well be dead to them, right? So that's what it's all about. And so when people ask, why is Cardi B on the song? It's just down to me because you need an incredibly large amount of people to buy this song and, and put money into it to make any money off of it. And I think that's what people don't understand is just how many people have to spend money in order for this to work for the artist, right? So let me know your thoughts, you guys, and I will see you guys later. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment below, and hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Love you guys bunches. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.